That was Rich Mullins with the joy of Jesus. Well, listen to what Jesus says in John chapter 15, verse number three. He says, you can already be clean uh, because of the word I have spoken in you. Now, this is a wonderful thought. When you and I spend time in God's word, there is a cleansing that come. Did you ever think that maybe the word of God was a cleansing agent? Well, it is. In fact, Paul reemphasizes that thought in the book of Ephesians when he says, you are cleansed by the washing of the word. That means that as you spend time in God's word, it has a cleansing effect on every aspect of your life, but especially your mind and your spirit. Because what you're doing is you're strengthening your inner man. You are allowing the word of God to take root in your heart. Now, Jesus also said in this same chapter. He says, if you abide in me and I will abide in you. So there's this connection between you and the Lord and the wonderful way that you and I can receive the promises of God and have them fully impact our lives is, of course, the fact that we read God's word. Secondly, that we think about God's word, and lastly, that we apply God's word. You know, I read this morning about the fact that God did not remove the Red Sea. He actually parted it. And when he parted it, he basically said this, hey, I am going to be with you even in those Red Sea experiences. I'm going to walk through these situations because God sometimes allows things happen to us that are not what we would say positive, because the simple fact is that we'll trust him, we'll become more resourceful, we'll become more experienced, we'll be strengthened, we'll be wiser through the experience. There's a whole I, a whole plethora of different reasons why God allows things to happen. If you are, of course, let's say for like myself, you go to the gym, then you know that when you push the muscles, they are sore for a short period of time, but then you become stronger, you become become uh, more uh, able to lift stronger weights or do uh, different things through exercise. It's the same way. The Word of God is your uh your muscles, okay, your spiritual muscles. As you read the Word of God and as you apply the Word of God, you are becoming stronger, but also as well, you're becoming clean because of the Word the Lord spoke to us. Great thought for you today from your friends here at AM 930 The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. And now we have the Salty Family with CQ First. Mm -hmm.